Hi there, welcome to my channel, Lauren Charles channel, a cat lady creator, and here I'm on the Brickle River. Can you see it? It's giant ice, and I'm thinking, well, I shouldn't really be doing this because I've got really red already, you know, because of the sun. I'm in the Miami sun. But anyway, I'll have a go. <laughs> Try and make my face paler, I guess, you know. Anyway, I should just move around so you can see what's around me. Like, this is a weekday, so it's not the jet set day with all the kids with their skanky looking clothes on, asses showing and everything, you know. So it's just like more functional boats. I've seen shipping boats, storage, and not that many. Whereas on the weekend or holidays, it's kind of well. Anyway, I shouldn't have this kid, should I? But I don't know, it's kind of weird, you know, when people half naked so much these days. All right, so um, I'm thinking, how am I going to make myself look good? I'm not looking good in camera right now. Anyway, uh, well, at least, you know, a bit better. Okay, let's have that back view. Okay, what's been going on? Well, I should have, like, done uh, another video before now for my channel, right? Yes, I should. I have done a, a few shorts. And actually, I just did, like, another Native American manifestation ritual. That is, I'm gonna make into a short and I did it next to the river and I did it a couple of days ago. What you do is you write down your wishes on paper and then you rip them up and you throw them into the river. So this is what I started doing when, because normally I just do this instinctive thing. I write down what I wanna do and then I burn it and I think the wishes go to the heavens and maybe or maybe not, I'll get what I want soon. So I'm still working on the big stuff, you know. Oh, I should have said that in the beginning. I am working on getting uh, the resources to make my movies and to make cat and dog sanctuaries and my cat lady and love cats and a feed lot of cats. And I'm freaking tired. Anyway, I forget my point. Oh, yes, I wanted to say, I'm probably going to put like at the end of this video, I'm going to put like some really nice cat clips, you know, photos and videos of some of the community cats that I feed. And yesterday I had a lot of um, hits on this little video I did on YouTube. I was up my cat Aussie and I got like over 100, no, 1,200 hits so far for this little short, which for me right now, totally unknown, is pretty good. Anyway, so I'm gonna work on that stuff. So I'm gonna do some lovely cat videos later. But I thought I'd just mention what's been going on few things actually I had to deal with this lunatic again the other day the one that comes up me crazy when I'm feeding cats and says ah you've been shooting up drugs you're trespassing all this garbage so I dealt with him told he's a lunatic and I got more video etc you know and then after that I thought this is not going to happen again he's not going to talk to me like that again so I went to the police and I gave him the video I told him about the guy and the guy who I spoke to the police with South Miami police. He was very nice, which South Miami police are not always. Like you can call them out to things and they just don't really care. Sometimes, but they're not all like that. This guy seemed nice. Anyway, he said he would try and talk to this guy, but at least it's like all down there on video, you know? So anyway, what I did was, you know, I kept the video and I was dying to put the video on the short. You know, put it online and show everyone, look how crazy and vile this guy is, you know. Lunatic with his fantasies. He's probably passing as just a malevolent, malevolent, normal person. But I want people to know how bad he is. But right now, because I'm feeding cats there, I can't publish it. So that went on. So another little thing I want to mention is a couple more bad stuff. Bad stuff things about being a cat lady. Well, I'll just have to top my head, I'm freaking tired. I go around on a bicycle <coughs> right now. I go around on a bicycle feeding cats and there's a reason that I'm on a bike and I'm not driving. And it's a very good reason, very interesting reason. And guess what? It's not DUI. And I can realize, man, my hair looks bad, by the way. <coughs> it's not DUI. It's a really interesting reason that I'm not at liberty to go into right now. I can't wait to talk about it. Anyway, so my back hurts a lot of time. I'm freaking tired. So anyway, that happens. And amongst the other bad stuff I was mentioning as a cat lady, um, you get really dirty. At least I do, being on a bicycle. And uh, my feet look terrible. And 
I wash my feet and hands all through the day, but inevitably they look really dirty. And, you know, sometimes I wear sneakers. Right now I'm wearing flip-flops. It's not looking good. It's just not a good look. But at the same time, when I wear sneakers, <coughs> they don't last long. They look really great when I first wear them. Even if I get, like, lately I've got, like, black ones with white lines around the edge. I'm thinking, oh, this looks so much better. And then the next minute, oh, dirty, so dirty. And a couple of months ago, like, I went away for a change. I went, because I never get a break from the cats, basically. So I went to Palm Beach for a couple of days. It was freaking great for a win. And so, you know, I got a few ladies to cover the locations in different places. And, and one lady, like, she was great. She was fed the cats. On, and actually, it was, like, the place where the lunatic turns up. It's like an open lot, it's a field, right? And she's in a nice car and she just has to get out and feed the cat. And she goes, God, you get so dirty doing that. And that is like the nicest, the cleanest place that I serve, actually, I serve the cats. So you just get really dusty and dirty. Like you keep, I keep washing my feet in my hands. So anyway, so in a minute, I'm gonna go over there behind me and go to some, there's more shops over there by the water very nice area and um hopefully i'm gonna find some sneakers that i think can withstand the rigors of my life right now because it's really freaking tiring okay that's six minutes 35 seconds whatever so i think to end off this video i will put on some darling delightful videos of cats because you know i do keep talking about these community cats uh, oh Yes, a lot of people know about these community cats because I'm on this local, in fact, I think it's a, a national forum, which I would give like a shout out to, but they also, you know, as well as allowing like good posts about animals, they also allow puppy mills up there. What's a puppy mill? Well, if you buy a dog, well, let's get to the point. Every day, hundreds of dogs are put down. For example, in Miami Day, because they've got no homes, nowhere to go to, people abandon, particularly since COVID, they, people abandon dogs like no one's business, right? And dogs have no chance. Let's get a better view in the back. Dogs have no chance. Cats have a legal right to roam. And dogs are just like really messed up. If you throw them out on the street and all that, and people do, they abandon their dogs left, right, and center. They got no chance. They have to fend for themselves. They're in great danger. There's all dog fighting, dog bait and everything, all this evil going on, you know. And um, at the same time, people are knocking out animals, making more animals. They're called puppy mills. You see, if you buy a dog of a particular type, it's supposed to have registration documents. But you didn't know that, did you? There's a whole pile of paperwork that's supposed to go on when you breed a dog. But these people, in some Sometimes, I'm going to say sometimes, but maybe it's often. They breed the animals in terrible conditions. Puppy bells, and then they sell them in pet shops. Now, here's another little, little conspiracy going on. How can you have a pet store where dogs are being sold? And they're kept in tiny little spaces. It's terrible. You know, if puppy mills are illegal, how does that go on? What's a conspiracy? How are the police allowing us, you know, etc.? Anyway, I forget my point. I'm just kind of burnt out and exhausted, to be honest. <coughs> it is kind of grueling being a cat lady like this right now. Anyway, I forget my original point. Just that, you know, I'm just wanting to help all these animals. I want to get my cat and dog sanctuaries going. <coughs> and that's what I should have started off saying. You know, I made this channel because I want this to promote and support the work I'm going to do, which is make my movies, which will affect animals, but they're not usually about animals and uh, to make cat and dog sanctuaries that are like the bomb like influencing the world for the for the good like there's no particular design of animal sanctuary that is considered great right now well that's you know one of the things that we're gonna do anyway oh right, now i remember <coughs> what i was going to mention i started mentioning about the site who also supports puppy mills, so I can't mention them, but I have made loads of great connections in there and I get loads of donations. Well, I do get donations, but they're sporadic. They're very low right now. I get donations, you know, to feed all the cats. So if you'd like to help to feed all these community cats I feed, um, you can use PayPal 
at happyanimals777 at yahoo.com. And um, <coughs> there's other links to below. Below, just have a look below. Zell and Venmo. And again, you know, PayPal, happyanimals777 at yahoo.com. We always need donations. So please send a donation. Okay, I'm going to put happy cats on now. Thank you for listening and please subscribe. Please watch till the end and subscribe. I was supposed to say that stuff in the beginning. All right, have a beautiful day. Bye.